Hey guys, it's Erin of Scandalous Beauty. Today we're going to talk about Twitter as far as loving makeup, being a makeup fanatic or just a fan and wanting to stay in the loop about what's going on as far as makeup artists, makeup lovers, people that you follow on YouTube, brands, your favorite beauty brands and things like that. So to start, I'm just going to show you how to make a Twitter page. It's super, super fast to do. If you already have a Twitter account, you can go ahead and fast forward. The, um, the timeline is in the About This Video section, section, so you can just click to see whatever you want. Okay, so I'm going to make an account. This is going to be a fake account, I guess, because um, I already have one. Okay, so let's sign up now. This is all you have to do, your full name, your username, your password, email, type in those words, say if you want your account to be private, and that's it. It takes like five seconds. This is my personal page. This is my background, just some handwriting. I didn't want to go all nuts just want to do a little something simple and these are all of the people that I follow in my timeline I just you know check it out and see what they say and typically I look at Twitter on my phone or I use TweetDeck I'm just gonna show you real quick what TweetDeck looks like so this is just the shot of my TweetDeck so from here I'll explain a little bit I'm following 728 people. This varies all the time. Um, I am a chronic follower and unfollower, so I don't always have the same amount of, of people and everything. Um, I have 4,436 followers. And actually, these are the newest followers of the, the day or week. And you can go through there. And then I'm listed. Twitter has lists where you can categorize the people that you follow, which is great. I am a chronic list maker and organizer when it comes to certain things, and this is one of them. So these are all the people that have added me to their lists for, for Twitter. Now, these are the lists that I have created. We can view all of them here, and I'm going to probably do more. So this is how it works out. Today is Friday, which typically you would do a follow Friday. And what you would do is you would just, everything is powered by hashtags and by the at symbol. So let's say um, I wanted to go ahead and tell people how I'm feeling for the day. I want to go ahead and say right now, I'm doing a video on Twitter for makeup enthusiasts. Hope you all check it out. Smiley face. And if I wanted a certain person on Twitter to understand, to see this, I would basically tag them, quote unquote by using the at symbol and their name. So if I wanted this to go to Warren Beautiful, my love, I would type his name here and he would see it. It would be a message to him. So I'm gonna type that, oops, and click tweet. There I have sent a tweet, which is right here. And all of my 4,436 followers, I think I lost a follower. I can't remember what my number was, have now seen it. Okay, that is basically Twitter. And all the people that I follow are in this timeline. So um, for my phone, I use Uber Twitter, which is my favorite. It's for Blackberries. Um, I don't know about the other systems. So if you have a system that you use on your phone, that's great. But it's the quickest way to just share information while you're on the go, you know, so you don't have to do it all the time on your computer. So for me to see everybody that is in my Twitter list, I'm going to go to the following section here. And people, and you can follow my list. So if you decide to, to do that, 
you, you can. There'll be a section over here somewhere that says follow this list. So five, oh, three people follow, follow my beauty brand list. So these are the brands I follow. Makeup Forever Pro, Blue Mercury, Purple Lab, L'Oreal Paris, Simone Roberts, Kissable Couture, Erwin Gomez here in D.C., Shecky's Clinique. I mean, it goes on and on and on. So a lot of times it's beneficial because you can find out about new products. Sometimes companies ask you for your opinion. Um, they just want to know what you're feeling from that company at the moment. Sometimes they tell you about sales. That's what I love because they'll be like, hey, it's a Twitter only sale. Um, we're going to hook you up. You know, use the password, the, the checkout code Twitter or something like that. And you'll get a discount, which is like really awesome. So I love to find out stuff like that. And these are the brands that I'm following, and it goes down and on and on. And these are the 40 brands that I follow at the moment. As I find more, I add them. And these are the people that I've categorized as well. So you can follow your favorite TV shows, your favorite, you know, your favorite, I don't know, clothing designers and, you know, your favorite athletes. I mean, all kinds of people. I follow some of the Baltimore Orioles. I follow some, some different Baltimore Ravens. I follow, you know, my local news stations and things like that. Uh, also, here are the people that I follow that are on YouTube. So, this goes on and on. Dr. Roxette, my girl Naomi, Asia, I love her, Talissa, Girl Can Paint, Yvette, Makeup Republic, uh, Julie G. Uh, it goes on and on. I follow a lot of people. Um, and on my list, you'll see that I follow 32 people. That I've categorized here and here is the list it goes down and down more and more and um, you can see just the people that I follow as far as makeup artists this is probably one of my favorite categories I love the celebrity makeup artists they're the ones that um, are really really inspirational they work with companies they get to um, you know, really show their creative forces by doing stuff for editorial and music videos and all kinds of stuff. They're all over the place. So here's some of the people that I follow. Uh, Tim Quinn for Armani, Preston, who does Janet Jackson, Myla Morales, who does Rihanna, Mr. Billy B, my love, who has been with every celebrity ever. Um, he's been with Gaga over the past few months. Johnny Lavoie, for L'Oreal, Kat Aragon from DC, Michael DeVellis from The Makeup Show, KJ Bennett from Makeup Forever, the director there, Scott Barnes, you know him from doing, uh, Jennifer Lopez, I mean it goes on and on and on, Tia Dantzler, um, who does Maxwell, who does Jennifer Hudson, Morel, who does uh, Wendy Williams, who his profile picture never does him justice because he is so hot you can't tell from his pictures because they always look just good but he is hot I saw a video of him very nice and it goes on and on Nadine Luke with Mac Cosmetics who I adore she's one artist I have got to meet she's on my list of people to meet uh, Luke Bouchard from Mac it goes on and on Derek Rutledge you see him do Michelle Obama quite often he's in DC um, it just keeps going on and on and on and on, and I've added so many people. Oh, the beautiful Sam Fine. Oh, the beautiful. Mac Romero Jennings, Victoria Styles. I mean, it goes on. And I follow them because I love to see that, you know, oh, they're going to be on this TV show doing that, or oh, they're working with this celebrity, or oh, this is my favorite, you know, lip liner. I always keep it in my makeup bag, or, you know, little tips like that keep you inspired. And a lot of them tweet on a regular basis. Some of them tweet all the time. Some of them have 30, 40, 50,000 tweets. Some of them have 13 tweets. But you look forward to seeing what they have to say. So it's... I don't do that whole follow for follow thing. I can only imagine how many people I follow that don't follow me back and that is completely fine I don't expect them to follow me back <laughs> so you know I just talk about beauty for the most part and um, that's it if you want to follow me feel free if not that is completely okay I don't get paid to tweet so I'm just doing this because um, I enjoy Twitter alright guys I hope that didn't bore you too much feel free to share your Twitter name and get some friends on this bad boy I will see you soon for the next video. Bye.